Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ange and I would love for you to join my little community here on booktube. Today's video is going to be my January Bookopoly video. I am very excited for 2021 because previously I had done November and December Bookopoly and I had just 100% copied Becca in the Books' Bookopoly video and her board, like just 100% copy your board and just wanted to get used to the idea of Bookopoly, which I absolutely love because I'm always indecisive about what I want to read. So this is such a great way to just keep me finding new books, like staying on track and like making sure that I'm reading books and hitting my goals each month. So this is literally perfect. Uh, this was my board for 2020, November, December, and it was okay. There's a lot of stuff on here that I don't really want on a board. So I changed that and created this board, which is my 2021 board. And I am actually extremely excited about it. My goal for this month is going to be three books. Uh, my goal for every month is three books. So I hit my goal of 36 books this year. If I read more, heck yes, absolutely. I'd be so excited about that. If I don't, I'm going to have to pick it up somewhere else. So what I'm going to be doing is rolling three times to see what I land on on my Bookopoly board. If I get a double roll, which is where you get the same number on each die, then I have to do an extra roll, which means an extra book that month. So it could get interesting. I could have anywhere from three to who knows how many, three to four on average. But if I were to roll multiple double rolls, that would not be fun for me because that'd be really stressful. Let's do the first roll. Okay, let's see, first roll. I got 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So that is a Goodreads recommend. So Goodreads recommends. <laughs> I just went to Goodreads and opened the recommended page and for my interest in fantasy, it said to read. The number one book was From Blood and Ash by Jennifer L. Armentrout. So that will be my read. I am probably actually gonna go buy this book because I've really wanted it for a long time and I did just get some gift cards that I would love to use up. So I might actually go buy this book. I don't know 100% what it is about because I just, I really haven't looked into it. I just know it's about a maiden who is waiting for her day of ascension, which is where she would join guards and fulfill a duty to protect the kingdom. This is a rather long book. I think it's around 640 pages. So I haven't read a book that thick in quite a while, to be honest. All my books have been like right at 300 pages, which has been like perfect for reading them this month. Second roll. Ooh, that was close, 11. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, which is fantasy romance. Okay, fantasy romance. I'm so glad I landed on this because I really want to read Restless Slumber by KJ Sutton. And this might be the first book that I read this month. We shall see. I'm very excited. This is the second book in the Fortuna Sworn series. The first book is about Fortuna Sworn. She is always looking for her brother who went missing two years ago and she meets this dark fairy and they make a deal in exchange for her to help like find her brother. So much crazy stuff happened in the last book. I'm so excited to see where this goes. This book is 436 pages so we're starting off January pretty dang strong if I do say so. I'm very excited about this. Fortuna Sworn was a book that I read last month, even though it wasn't part of my bookopoly. It was just a book that I picked up and read and I am so glad I did. So that is the second book that I will be reading for January. All right, final roll for the month is a six. So one, two, three, four, five, six, which is Visit the Library. The third book, for Visit the Library is going to be the second book in the Penny Royal Academy. I think it's called The Shadow Cadets of Penny Royal Academy. That's what it's called. The Shadow Cadets of Penny Royal Academy 
and I actually really enjoyed the first book. The first book was from my bookopoly of last month and I was a little weary of it. I didn't think I was gonna like it but actually I loved it and I really can't wait to read the second book so I'm glad I landed on Visit the Library because I will be checking that book out absolutely 100%. This series is about these girls who go to this academy to train to be princesses who fight witches and witches have been taking over the realms and kingdoms and kind of destroying everything in their way but the way to take them down is by being courageous, compassionate, kind, and there's a fourth fourth way and I don't remember what it is. Those are the characteristics of a princess and that is how you take down a witch. But you can't be fearful otherwise they will, if you look in their eyes, they're going to turn you to stone. Anyway, boys also go to this academy where they train to become knights and battle dragons basically which is very interesting once you read the first book and you get a little more background information. The main character is named Cadet Eleven, which they call her Evie, and she has an interesting past. She was cursed, so she doesn't have some of her memories and they're trying to get them back for her. There's some teen romance going on. I really loved this story because it is a take on the Grimm's fairy tales, so everything is all together in one story. So we've got Snow White is one of the great princesses, Cinderella, Rapunzel, and also some fun names like Rumpled Shirt Sleeves, which is a take on Rumpelstiltskin, and one of the girls at the very end talks about her darn red riding cloak that if she doesn't take to her grandma's is going to be sad, and I was just like, I love this. So if you like fairy tales, it's literally perfect. So that's it. Those are the three books that I have planned out for this next month and I'm very excited to get started. Last month I read four. I still got three and a half days until January starts so I'm going to try to get one more book finished. And yeah, I'm actually very excited. I should be having two books coming this month through book of the month. My December one still hasn't gotten here I think with Christmas. It just really threw off the USPS so they're boxes have not gotten anywhere so I'm still waiting on my December book of the month so I'll probably put those two together in the same video as I'm also waiting on my January box for book of the month so I will open those together in a book of the month unboxing which is going to be very exciting I'm very much looking forward to my January box with that said that is it from me today and thank you so much for watching Please subscribe if you haven't already, like this video if you liked it, and let me know what your books for this month are. I'm very excited for my January TBR, and that's all I've got. I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys! Bye.